Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Okay, October 7, Monday, winners and losers. TLT fumbles to 47%, holding on for profit. So let's go look at the charts. Let's go look at the numbers. And there we are. TLT was here at 68%. Now it's closed down here at 47 We are still in profit. TLT is at 217 those 105 so uh, we're looking to get out of this trade hopefully soon. We'll see what happens next and uh, get over 105 to return to get TLT retired off the losers list down to the winner circle. Okay, going on, IYR, our next leader of the pack, is right here. And uh, interesting move. Closed here, opened here, closed here with a spike. And, you know, like I say, we just have to roll with the punches. But here's some encouragement also about the MACD. MACD is trending up. And volume is a little bit low, but it is what it is. For 747, 743, I apologize. 182, we're still in the ballpark zone, more or less. All right, let's go to our laggers. Uh, Pepsi. Pepsi is here. Now, Pepsi is an interesting one. It showed up on our screen yesterday. And well, we got in here on uh, October 3rd. We got a bit of a movement there. All oh, my little coding is here. And here's the point. It's oh, the tight. We're in the Tiger League. Now, remember, the Tiger League took over from Alpha about a week ago. Uh, yeah, we expect Alpha to be up there and taking everything from the Tigers, but the little guys came in and kicked butt. So Pepsi's at uh, minus $90. $90. It was 488 to the Tigers, and it's still in a nice uptrend on the MACD. Stochastics is in fairly decent territory. So uh, what can you say? But just the wait and see period. And they are behind. We are now in the laggards. I said that, yes, of course. Okay, now Edison. Now, notice that Edison here was a put. Now, what that put was, so we're looking for a down a downtrending here. And after I examined this, after I put the order in, and said, oh, you know what? The dummy. Yeah, I made a mistake. Made a big mistake. Another little learning lesson. See my, my see my goal line here out here. Anything above that line, you're only supposed to do positive trades. Yeah, only supposed to do positive trades above. Anything below is a put. So this was a major mistake. What can we do about it? Nothing. Yeah, we can short the stop up. We can bring the, we can bring the shop. The stop here is on the long side. We can look toward maybe dating it down here. We have a nice little doji here that might give us a little bit of reversal. We have a little drop on the MACD. We'll just do, keep an eye on it. That's all we can do. We have another put here at Dominion. I remember Dominion on this last trade made us some money. And it reduced the, the O from 4 something down here to 382. And now this was, again, this was another... Rush. Now, what happened? Okay, let, let's let's talk about that. I, I'm, you know, it's not just the honesty part about what's happened, but what maybe get into the trade? <sighs> anxiousness. Yeah, anxiousness. I had some money out there, and I was like, and I didn't find any calls, and I said, you know what? These guys owe me some money, so I'll go and, and look at doing some puts, because it was. But I didn't pay attention to what one of my entry rules. Nothing above, nothing above the gold is puts, and nothing below the gold is calls. So there it was. <sighs> All right, moving on. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and get back on that horse. Giddy up, giddy up. Here we go. So we're now in the uh, Alpha League. Alpha League is falling behind. I mean, this is this 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 is like your uh, Patriots. Opening up the season, and they're doing horrible all the way across the board. So we'll start off with Nike. Nike is here. 
And uh, Nike is a call, but look, we have a nice little moving up. It's there. It's getting at 30, now it's $35 short. So it's 35 plus 1010. 10, so it's behind 1045. Okay. Again, we have to trust our instruments. Trading is like flying an airplane through the clouds, through the fog at night. And the only lights that you can see outside your plane is your little dinky headlight, which I don't know why planes have dinky headlights up there at so many feet up in the air. And um, except of course for landing and, 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 and the little tip on the wings. That's it. That's all you can see. You have to fly by your instrument. So here we are. We'll be on the Nike and keep on going. All right. That said, let's move now on to, oh, we're already here. <laughs> Forgot. All right. Our next ill is Walgreen. Now, interesting. Walgreen was in the cellar for the longest time. And now, where are you? Oh, there it is. And now, Walgreen. And I'm going to have to take a small pause here because, I, unfortunately, I think I'm coming down with a cold. I apologize. So give me a, a few minutes here, guys. Thank you. All right. So we're at Walgreen. And Walgreen is a, we are doing, now, this I did correctly. It's below the gold line. It's having a, an increasing MACD. It has a dropping stochastic. Uh, we'll just have to do stick with it. It's 160 behind with 169, 169 to the Tigers. But we're in the Alpha League. So how much did the Walgreen owe us in the Alpha? Oh, there it is. There it is. It's hiding way over there. I got to keep moving my, my information forward. So here at Alpha, Walgreen owes 595. Yeah. It's not bad. You know, here's, here's, the, here's the close. Then the close is going up. Then the close going down. We're sort of matching. So we'll uh, again fly by the instruments. Keep it, keep it, keep it going. All right. Moving on here to PG Parker and Gamble. Parker and Gamble is a call. Everybody else is a call. We're looking for up direction and and all the remaining people of the field. And you see 67. So what do we have over here? What did Walgreen report to us as our lost leader? No, it's not here. I know I saw it. I know I saw it. Oh, that's right. You guys are yelling at me. I can hear you now. That's it. It's the Nike. Nike has the lost leaders. No. All right. Who has a lost leader list? Come on. I know I saw it. I know I saw it. It's, around the, it's in the 20-something. All right. Not to say some time. Let's just move on. I'll catch it for you next time. All right. Uh, back to PG. PG. Oh no, that's oh, good. <laughs> that's that always scared me. I know it's not six. By the way, this is this is oh this is alpha. This is correct. I apologize. It is. This is alpha. It's tigers that I saw it, and I forgot. I even forgot I switched the leagues. Okay, so PG, uh, nice little uptrend going here. We have an inside day with a long leg. Uh, possibilities. Just keep at it. Uh, moving on down the line to our next flagger, it's uh, XLK, and we call XLK is going after this 268. But look at this! Look at this MACD, nice little uptrend. Not great on the volume. Not not a lot of push here. Volume is like your pressure. Volume is like your pressure. Your MACD is your direction finder, and just the Stochastics is like your speed gauge. How fast is it traveling getting up there? But it's all good. So, uh, 819. Remember, I have nine contracts. Remember this. You know, so we got 819 plus 268 that I want in return for the lost leader. Divide that by 900, which is nine contracts out of 100. I gotta get I gotta get a dollar twenty. Dollar twenty will make me good. So we'll stick with it. All right, going on quad. Oh quad. Oh wait, what funny? This is interesting. Look at this. Look at this. This is really cool. Let me move this. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it there so you guys can try to decipher that. Um, here, here, here. But it's it's now. Notice something on the MACD here. It's flatlining right in here, and these three guys are flatlining. Here's a big jump. 
but there's a little flat lining there. And we had good volume. We had good volume. So uh, we had volume here, and we'll just stick with it. Getting 418 plus 1670 divided by 1300. Again, I have 1670. It owes me 418. Divide that by the 1300 contracts. I'm only need a dollar. I need a dollar sixty move. Now, how do I figure out a dollar sixty move? Well, look at the delta. The delta, rule of thumb. I'm not going to go to the the whole options chain with you guys it gets very but just rule of thumb uh you divide this don't you multiply this you divide i forgot which divide <laughs> divide by 50 percent which is the, which is the average delta so the stock moves three dollars and 12 21 cents that's the anticipation the stock moves three dollars and 21 cents well that makes it here so right there is approximately the close was 9.62. We have a ATR of 45. Well, figure that out. If we got this, and then you divide it by the ATR, which is the average true range of the day. Maybe seven days. We'll get out of it. Another pause here. I apologize. All right. So that said, let's move on to our last and final person of the uh, positions. And... Remember, we are in the call part of the of the trade here. This is the calls. We have one put, and this three thirteen down. It needs four ten. So again, you know, we just take four ten. This is all rule of thumb. This is nothing. I mean, it, scientifically, it works out, but the market will will be what it will be. So we need seventeen sixty five. Divide that by ten contracts times ten. That makes a thousand. I need $1.76 and divide that by a rule of thumb delta 50. That means I need a $3.53 move. $0.53 move divided by 1.66 of the uh, ATR. And I might be out of this trade in the next two days, provided we get some more push-up. All right? That's how it's done. Okay, guys. That's it for tonight. I thank you very much for attending the Winners and Losers. And uh, happy trading, safe trading, and trade smart. Bye-bye.